Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and I do fountain pen, ink, and paper reviews. And today, still kind of continuing the black pen theme after the Ranga Model 5 and a couple others lately. So this is the Jinhao X850. This is a new metal black lacquered pen from Jinhao, and it comes with a number 6 nib. This one is a medium. Those of you who have been asking for more medium Jinhaos, here you go. And uh, I kind of like the look of this pen. It has a, a nice weight to it and a classic black pen with gold trim. But what do I think about it overall? How does the pen write? What are the pros and cons? Well, for that, let's flip the camera and find out. All right, here we have the Jinhao X850. And I really like the looks of this pen. Just very nice, simple, classic cigar shape, that new and I think much improved Jin Hao clip. And I really think that was a good move for Jin Hao. And even though I tend to lean more toward a chrome or rhodium trim with a black pen, I, I do think that the black and gold tone trim on this pen look quite good. And I think in this case, keeping this simple, the less is more motif works. Now this is a brass pen either in I don't know if this is black lacquer or enamel I couldn't really find that information but it's it's one or the other and it's done really really well you have of course just the domed finial you have again that improved clip that I think looks quite good it functions really well it's a little little bit stiff but it works quite well simple trim ring with Jin Hao on this side and the model number X850 on the reverse, which I always appreciate, and then a nice thin trim ring at the base of the barrel, and of course, again, just that cigar-shaped ending. Now, you might notice that it is somewhat similar, not overly similar, but somewhat similar to the Jinhao X450, and uh, they actually only share the nib, feed, and converter. Everything else about these pins is different in some way. Similar shape, but there are no other interchangeable parts of the pen. Other changes would be this is a snap cap and it has a deeper set of grooves on the trifold grip, which this does share. And I like that because I do hold in a trifold grip, but not everybody will, so know that ahead of time. If you don't like that, then stay tuned. Soon I will review the X350, which is a similar but not identical pen that does not have that old grip. Taking a look at the nib here, we find that it is that two-tone Jinhao nib that is on a lot of their pens. It is a number six. This one is a medium, which is a more common offering on Jinhao these days, and I really appreciate that, and fits any of their number six pins. So you can swap this around. You can put in other pins. For example, the Kaigalu long blade nibs. I have put those in my X750. They would fit in this pen as well. You just have tons and tons of options if you want to swap that out. Typical plastic feed. It is just friction fit, so you just very carefully you know, pull that out. It's not glued in or anything like that. You will be able to swap that quite easily. Then opening up the barrel, you will find a couple of things. One is the addition of a silicon, I assume silicon O-ring. I really appreciate that. It makes that a much nicer close. It's just a nice quality thing. This is a metal pin, again, lacquered brass, but on plastic pins, that also relieves a little bit of uh, wear and tear and, and cracking risk, and I appreciate that. You open it up and you also have a converter. It is that Chinese international standard, and the difference there is that this is a 2.6 millimeter converter and cartridge compatible pin, but you can use standard international cartridges in the pin, and they'll work out just fine. Or, of course, Jin Hao does sell cartridges, and, and they're all right. You just don't get nearly the variety you get with standard international, and so that's what I would tend to use myself if I wasn't going to use a converter. Let's count the turns for the cap. It is one and just a little bit over a half. We'll call that one and three quarters. So one and three quarters turns. Now let's do a size comparison. All right, for our size comparison, I have some very similar pens in a lot of ways. The X159, the Wingsung 699, this is the piston version, the X850 that we're looking at today, the X750 that I've had for a really long time, and the Kaigalu 
356, which just is an incredibly good looking resin pin. Here we have the pins unposted, and of course you can see a little bit more of the differences. Certainly with that number 8 nib and the X159, you can also see an example of what I was talking about with nib swapping, because this X750 has a Kaigalu long blade nib in it, and of course that would fit in the X50 as well. And here are all those pins posted. They all do post and post well. All right, before we get into the writing test, let's talk ergonomics right quick. You see this nicely done curve. I'm hoping that you can see that in contrast with the paper. Jinhao did such a great job of curving that in. Small thing, but not every pen maker gets this right, especially when it's a budget pen, which this is. I paid less than $9 for this pen shipped to my door. And then when you post it, you see that cap rests right here on my hand, but it doesn't feel bad at all because of how well that curve is done. I appreciate little details like that. Again, this is a medium pin. That writes, with plenty of ink. That's a pretty good wetness, isn't it? Ink today is diamine. Onyx black. I just thought that black suited this pen so well. It's such a classic design and classic black. Why not a great black ink? I've come to like this one a lot, and I think, if I remember correctly, I owe this as a recommendation from several of you in the comments on one of my ink reviews or pen reviews. That lift was me, not the pen. So was that. I don't, while I was talking to you about lifting, I lifted. I like the pen. It writes well. It's very comfortable to me. And uh, I don't know. I just I enjoy writing with this pen. I've used it a lot in the last couple of weeks since I've had it. Now, you don't get a lot of line variation out of these nibs. This is just normal. It's just light pressure. I guess you can see a little bit of difference there. And if I really pushed it, which I wouldn't want to push it too far, you can get some. So a little bit on the down. You can get a little bit. Certainly it's not a flex or semi-flex or anything like that. But, you know, it's, it's not hard as a nail. And uh, I think that's pretty typical for these nibs. <laughs> So what are my overall thoughts on this pen? The finish and the fit for, let's see, $8.90. That's what I paid to my door. The fit and finish for $8.90 to my door, this is a knockout pen. I really like how well this pen is put together. The nib writes well. I like that they're offering medium on more of their pens, and I know a lot of you do as well, and I appreciate that. And I just find this a pleasant pen to write with, and it's just a nice traditional looking pen. And I really, I'm going to say this one more time, Jin Hao, thank you for the new clip. Really, I really like it, and, and sometimes less is more, and this is definitely one of those cases. It looks great so far on all the pens they've put it on. Good job there. Uh, so it's the typical Jin Hao value, really well put together, a decent writer, good writing ergonomically. So yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this pen to somebody, especially if you're looking for a really great value. All right, God bless you, and have a great week.